Welcome to the STARS program, seniors taking active roles in society. And now, here's your host, Anita Finley. Now, we're going to talk about Ashley the Entertainer. If you have the May edition of Boomer Times, you'll see this wonderful, wonderful guy on the cover. I'm going. I have tickets for Saturday, June the 10th. I'm going at the 7 o'clock hour, but let me just tell you all about him. He's pretty spectacular. I When he first called me and told me what he's going to be doing, I said, where do you live? He usually lives in Peru. He did call us last month. He's a missionary in Peru, but he's a entertainer here in the United States. He's called Ashley the Entertainer. Let me just read something that we wrote about him. Remember Sammy Davis, Nat King Cole, Fred Astaire, Johnny Mathis, Cab Calloway, Perry Como, Frank Sinatra, and Elvis Presley? Well, do you ever wish that entertainers of their caliber were still around? Of course we do. Well, wish no more. Meet the incredibly talented Ashley Cooper. He's the showman that has been bringing local audiences to their feet. So if you haven't heard of him yet, here is the scoop. A song and dance man. If you enjoyed Sammy Davis, you'll love Ashley, the entertainer. Raised in a household with the grandfather, he taught himself to sing and dance by indulging in his grandfather's music. From Bing Crosby to the Platters, Sammy Davis to Elvis, just look at all. He's, and you know, it's funny. Their voices and their movements, he's just figured out how to look just like them. He's very attractive, I will tell you. He's only 34 with over 1,700 shows. That's right, 1,700 shows under his belt. He's so young, but he just loves this. He's poised to make quite a name for himself, channeling some of the greatest entertainers. I want people to feel like they are watching a show at the historic Sands Hotel in 1960 when they see me perform. And and he's so confident. I mean, when you hear him, he just absolutely loves what he's doing. So those who have met the entertainer would refer to him as a good soul. When his grandfather felt ill with cancer, you know, it was horrible for Ashley because his grandfather reared him. Ashley helped care for him at home. You imagine what a wonderful guy he was. He attributes his deep connection and respect for seniors to his relationship with his grandfather. It taught him to serve others, something Ashley has especially done for the last seven years in 2010 because he moved to Peru where he does missionary work, only coming back to the U.S. to perform at select venues. And this is one of them, and I'm going to tell you about that. It's He's going to be here in Delray Beach at the Arts Garage, Friday, June the 9th at 7 p.m., Saturday, June the 10th at 3 p.m. and 7 p.m. So if you would like to get a ticket, and I'm going to keep telling you more about him, but all seats are only $40, and you will be so entertained. I just know it. Tickets, call 561-450-6357. 4506357 or visit artsgarage.org artsgarage.org okay so let me tell you what the show is like his show includes song dance ballet and acrobatics can you imagine this he is so cute too i mean his outfits are incredible although his goal is to bring the songs of the golden era back to life He considers himself a purist. I try to perform the songs the way that people remember them, the way that they loved them. So when Ashley sings Nat King Cole, if you close your eyes, you would swear Nat was on stage. Oh, I used to love Nat King Cole and all the things that he sang. The same goes for the other greats that he interprets. No genie of music is off limits. No genre. I'm sorry. It's no genre of music is off limits, and and uh, he he will tackle anything. He's often he does the big band, the rock and roll, the blues, the R and B, the jazz, and even country, and all in one set. Huh. I mean, I haven't seen his show yet. I've just talked to him, and I 
have seen some YouTubes. So I can see he is really, I can't wait to see him. Another highlight of his show are his snazzy outfits. From bright colored velvet suits to tailored tuxedos, complete with a top hat, a la Fred Astaire. The reason he dresses so much, well, he says, when I dress classy, I'm showing respect for my audience, explains Ashley. He adds, it's like I'm saying to my audience, I think you are important, so I dressed accordingly. Now, when you go and you see a lot of other events, you see the way they dress. I mean, sometimes you wonder if they know where they are. I like to see someone who's really elegant. In fact, when I go to the Wick Theater, the thing I love so much about it is that they have the most gorgeous dresses, outfits on their dancers, and that's, of course, because Marilyn Wick owns the largest costume world probably in the sh- in the whole in the world actually it's called costume world but that's it's huge and so i like to be entertained that way so let me tell you again about his upcoming show if you're looking for a clean and classy show that brings back the excitement of the golden era of music then join ashley the entertainer and the nine piece best times band june the 9th or june the 10th at the Arts Garage in Delray Beach. See, they've given you a chance. You can go at night on Friday or Saturday. You can go at 3. Some people don't like to go out at night, I know. Or you can go at the 7 p.m. So I told you I'm going Saturday, June 10th at 7 p.m. And I'm taking a guest who's so excited about seeing him. So I'm really happy about that. All right. So I told you about that now. And let me go back over the tickets. Now, you can have group rates or information you have to call the Arts Garage box office at 561-450-6357, 450-6357, or visit the Arts Garage website, artsgarage.org. Let me read some of the reviews, the testimonials that people have written about him. Watching Ashley's show is like taking a step back in time. That was said by 435 Magazine. Here's another testimonial. His energy and professional showmanship brought our audience to their feet. Bravo, Ashley. That was from Valerie Jeff of the Carl Lakes Cabaret Theater. Here's another one. The audience was mesmerized and thrilled with his exceptional presentation. That's from the Philadelphia Social Club of Florida Newsletter. His song and dance show was above and beyond any performance that I've seen. Our audience was left awestruck, said Karen Delgado at the Carlisle. He draws you in and then lifts you up. Ashley is a man like few others, a real entertainer's entertainer. That was from Mike Rapacelli for Inside Entertainment Agency. We have the one and only Ashley the Entertainer on the line calling us and uh, we're going to talk to him he's actually calling in from kansas city what are you doing there ashley <laughs> i'm in kansas city this time uh visiting family going to a wedding and tying up some loose ends oh so you're not entertaining there this time well of course you know you always I, entertain uh, don't you <laughs> <laughs> of course <laughs> well well um i took the first uh 10 15 minutes and i wrote i read to everyone the article that we had and wrote for you in Boomer Times in the May issue. So they know a lot of the stuff, but I wanted to have the real you talking. So how's oh, it going? I can't complain. I am uh, getting ready for the show. I'm doing a little choreography and getting with the band, uh, you know, trying to make sure that the uh, everything is perfect for this show coming up in June. I can't wait to go. I have a great person I'm taking. He's He's interesting. He's a, a businessman, but he has a he has a partner who's very sick, and so he doesn't get out a lot. And he's going to come to this. He's so excited about doing it. So I told him all about you, and it's uh you know I love I don't know you saw the May issue with your being on yes. the cover, wasn't it beautiful? Yes, it is beautiful. I loved it. Every you know um, I got a couple of copies in the mail. Good and. Uh, you know, my my family got it, and they were sending it out and giving it away, and people were just loving it. They were like, "How come we don't get this uh, this magazine in Kansas City?" Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's interesting. We once tried to do this as a national magazine, but it just didn't work out. But 
it it is true but but having you shown that way is just magnificent and i know people are going to come and they're going to see you and you're so young that's what i was amazed at you are only 34, and it said here in the article that you have actually done, what, 1,700 shows? Yes, absolutely. How could you have possibly done 1,700 shows? Well, you know, uh, before I left to Peru, South America, um, I was doing about three shows a day, uh, <laughs> four to five days a week. I didn't know anything about modesty. You know, if someone called and wanted a show, I would do it. And, and at, in the beginning, when I started off, I was doing shows at uh, at nursing homes, and I loved it. You know, I was singing for the greatest generation. Yeah. And they would, you know, there was a big article about me here in Kansas City uh, about nine years ago. And once that article came out, well, I, w- I was you would get, you know, calls all day long for, you know, for, during the whole year, so I would do upwards of uh, almost like 400 shows a year. It was crazy. No, but that's why you honed your skills. Exactly, exactly. Because honestly, seniors are the best audience because they will help you to refine your abilities, and they're brutally honest. If you're not any good, they'll tell you. <laughs> you know, they, they, they come from the generation of not not everyone gets a trophy. Yeah, they'll tell you to you know get a get a day job or something if you're not that good. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, but I want to tell you something about seniors and and the people who you sing and you do tribute to. That brings back happy memories and days for them. So even if you're not perfect, they hear that the way they used to hear it. So I think what you've done is so helpful to making their lives enhanced. Well, thank you very much. Actually, you know, actually, before I went to started performing in Florida, I got one of the greatest honors ever. I, I became known as the nursing home singer here in Kansas City. Huh. And um, what would happen is I would go to these places uh, about once every other month. Um, and there's at least 200 different, you know, assisted livings and independent livings here in Kansas City within like a hour radius. I mean, there's just so many of them. And I would go to these places every other month and I would build up a rapport with the residents. I knew a lot of them by name. They would have my picture up in their rooms and when, <gasps> whenever their family would come. They, they, you know, they knew who I was. They'd say, they, you know, I would see people that are, that are going to a restaurant. They'd say, are you at the nursing home saying, my mother loves you. <laughs> <laughs> and so what would happen would be, would be that I would follow these residents from independent living to assisted living to a nursing home. And eventually, you know, because because of the age, you know, they would eventually be in, in hospice. And their their family members would call me and say, my mother loved your so- songs. She uh, She's going down. Can you please come and sing to her? I'm sorry, I'm getting a little choked up, you know. Right. Oh <laughs> I'm rem- remembering some of those experiences. Well, I'm so glad you shared that with us because we are here in South Florida. Of course, we're the capital for the senior population, or actually all of Florida. But people really love entertainment. When you go to the assisted living or you don't have to even go to nursing homes, you go to independent living where they con- congregate the most important thing for them is the entertainment. And oh, if, yeah. if you were here in South Florida all the time, you'd have more jobs than you could ever imagine. Oh, tell me about it. Tell me about it. And, and, I, would, and I would love to. You know, it's, it's so funny. I've, I've had other entertainers tell me that they don't do nursing homes. Hmm. You know, almost as if to say that it's beneath them. Yeah. And I just don't understand that. Well, I think, and I've seen people too. I'll tell you what upsets me is when someone has a loved one in a nursing home and they don't visit, and I'll say, why? I can't stand it when I go there. It makes me too depressed. And I say to them, it's not for you. It's for them. Exactly. Why would exactly. That's so selfish. Yeah, but not exactly. everyone feels that way, Ashley, so I'm glad you do. Oh, I love it. I mean, they're the greatest generation, yeah. and they come from a time when music had to be good. You had to know what you were doing. And you, you really had to be a great entertainer if you were going to entertain that generation. 
So I'm, I consider it an honor. If they call me from a nursing home, I'll go. And I will put on the show and I will make it seem like they are at Broadway. Oh. I will try to make those residents feel that they have left that nursing home and they're at some wonderful hotel in Las Vegas. Well, I liked you before, but now I really like you a lot. So I'm going to have <laughs> to figure out how to meet you personally. Of course, I'll be there at the show, but on Saturday night. But what I wanted to also... Um, talk about is where where do you get these costumes made i mean do you design them yourself yes in peru um a lot of times I, you know i grew up watching a lot of those old movies and musicals and and, and a lot of times i'll get on um you know youtube and watch some of those old movies and, and i'll get inspired or you know for me i've learned that as an entertainer the brighter the better <laughs> the brighter the better um, and also, I like the old school style of suits. Um, you know, I, I like. To, I also like to wear my pants where they should be. <laughs> right. So, <laughs> That's good. So I just, I just enjoy getting dressed up, and I'm a, I enjoy suits. You know, as a kid, whenever we would go to our religious services on Sunday, I would be the last kid to get out of my suit and put on my play clothes, just because I love being dressed up. Since I was a kid, but mostly because my grandfather, he had this picture of himself and my grandmother. Mm. And he had on this all-white suit. And I just remember staring at that picture because he just looked so cool. And so whenever I got the chance to get dressed up, I just I never wanted to get out of my, 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 my suit, my Sunday clothes. Well, see, it's I always see this in people. The way that they act as they age, if you grow, go back to their family, their traditions, the upbringing, it always comes through. And that's what's oh, happened absolutely. to you. They they really had a great influence on you, especially your grandfather. Does anybody else in your family sing and dance? <laughs> uh, not professionally, no. Um, but, you know, music was just a huge part of our lives growing up. You know, one, one thing that we would do as entertainment was that we would just put on old records and we would dance. Uh, I, one of my favorite things to do was to waltz with my mom. We, I don't know why we would waltz. I don't know where that came from, but we just, we would waltz around the room. We'd do a lot of two steps and, and it was just, it was fun for us. You know, we didn't, you know, so many times we didn't have a television. We didn't have cable. So we just, we, you know, we sat in the same room and we talked or we played board games or we listened to music and danced. Well, that's why you are what you are today, and I can see your face. You never stop smiling, do you? <laughs> yes, a lot of people tell me that. I know, I can see that, and I understand why. Your heart just comes out in your in your words, and, and it, I can't, I just keep saying this, I can't wait to see you. It's a shame you're just going to be here for two days, but maybe you'll come back if you have a very good showing here. Oh, I'm definitely. I'm, I want to make this an annual event in good. South Florida. Good. Well, definitely. we'll do everything we can to help you. I'm trying very hard to tell my friends about it. And I know Thank you're on YouTube, too. People can go to YouTube and see you, can't they? Yes, absolutely. So you that's can type yeah. in Gash Cooper or Ashley the Entertainer, and all of my videos pop up. That must be very thrilling for you. So, So when do you go back to Peru, right after the show? Right after the show, hmm. right after the show, I, I head out. And you know what you were saying about uh, the values that you get from your family? Yes. That The reason I go back to Peru is because I do think, although I love entertaining, I just feel like the work that I do in Peru is just as important, if not more so, because I'm trying to, you know, usually we are helping families to just enjoy enjoy a better way of life through knowledge um, it includes a lot of, you know, Bible study, and you, I get to teach people about for everything from how to read better to hygiene, how to keep a job, you know, just life lessons that everyone needs, you know, and, it, and what eventually happens is that the people become uh, better husbands, better fathers, better children, better neighbors. It's just a wonderful work. So that's why I go back. Yes, I understand. And it's you are joined by your wife. Yes. And you do yes, this, I and do. you must speak fluent Spanish. Yes. And how did you my, learn my that? Is... Where did you learn Spanish? Well, I, I taught myself. I grabbed a uh, verb book. It's called <laughs> 501 Verbs. I love that book. <laughs> 501 <laughs> Verbs? 
Yes. In Spanish? <laughs> yes. It's a, it's a verb dictionary, pretty much. It teaches you how to use the how to conjugate verbs in Spanish, which is probably the most important uh, thing to learn when you're trying to learn Spanish. But I grabbed a dictionary, I grabbed a verb book, and I started, you know, giving Bible studies, forcing myself to do it with people in the Spanish community. And through a lot of hard work and, you know, a lot of practice, I eventually it became a, a second language. As a matter of fact, sometimes when I come back to the States, I have to really focus on speaking in English because the Spanish has taken <laughs> over. <laughs> I, I, I'm just amazed at you. You are just in a, just incredible. And sorry that we haven't really met before. I'm so glad you found us and that we are going to be working together. And I want to do whatever I can. In fact, I think what we might want to do is after you're finished with this, maybe we ought to do a little story on Peru and what you're doing. You know, I like that. I think it would be very interesting for people. Oh, that would, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. As a matter of fact, my wife has a lot of pictures on her Instagram. If anybody wants to check it out, they can go to Ash Y Caro on Instagram. A-S-H-Y-C-A-R-O. And you can see all of the pictures of what we've been doing in Peru for the last seven years. Seven years that you're there. And, and you grew up, obviously, in Kansas City. Well, I was born, I was born and raised in Florida. Really? And I didn't know I moved that. To Kansas. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm a Floridian, <laughs> believe it or not. Uh, and uh, I moved to Kansas uh, oh, 13 years ago. I met my wife, um, and we got married. I mean, man, we, we met and got married in like six months, literally. Um, and uh, um, let's see, six, four, five, four, five, five years after that, we moved to Peru. I see. We had the goal to move to Peru, yes. Well, we'll have to, um, I can't wait to see you. We're just about out of time, but Ashley, be well, and we will see you. I'm coming Saturday, June 10th. Everyone, order your tickets, 561-450-6357, or go on the web, artsgarage.org. It's Ashley, the entertainer. We'll see you then, Ashley. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Wait. All right, bye. Bye.